Hello, eighth graders. Um, I have a whole bunch of information for you that has nothing to do with um, math. Um, I'm recording this both for my algebra kids and my homeroom. Um, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see all of this information that I have to share. And um, I'm going to turn off my video because I'm going to be turning towards a different monitor over here. Okay. So um, there is a ton of information that is coming out to students and families today, and I just wanted to talk to you guys through it. Um, there's information about your schedule for the week, grades, parades, and more, like some construction. Uh, general expectations for schoolwork. All of us teachers have been talking behind the scenes. I think when we left school, we felt like, um, or when we first started teaching, it seemed like we should be doing stuff like normal, but I think we figured out that's not really possible. Uh, so we've been trying to focus on giving you work that would take 20 to 30 minutes of learning per day. Um, it might be a little bit more than that for algebra, but um, the idea is you should be doing about two and a half to three hours of schoolwork per day, um, and also about two and a half per week for the, each class. Um, so set, set some time aside, make sure you give yourself some breaks. Uh, all of us teachers are posting information in Google Classroom, so please regularly check Google Classroom. Sorry, I'll get to that in a second. Um, and then I know I'm posting just on Mondays and then uh, doing some math learning on Wednesdays with an update on Friday. Homeroom, you're pretty much just going to see Mondays from me. Unless there's something big that comes out that um, I feel like you should know about. I just, I know I'm getting so many emails and if you get um, emails or updates from Google Classroom, it's just a lot of information to keep track of. Uh, so the schedule is a general guide to help you plan that I'm going to show you on the next page. If what you're doing has worked, that's great, um, but we've had some students asking for help with schedules. Um, it's also a schedule for what we're calling synchronous or live learning. So um, the schedule will like, let you know when your language arts teacher might be available in a Zoom meeting. And we've done this so that we're not double scheduling you. Um, for instance, Ms. Herda and I share a lot of students and the first couple weeks we kept finding we were scheduling things for you around the same time and we're trying to make that not happen. So here's a suggested schedule. Uh, the main thing to pay attention to is when we're suggesting you have a focus to plan to be with your teacher at some point. So for instance, math is Wednesday afternoons um, and I have been holding algebra class meetings from 2 to 2.30 ish. We might move that back to 1.30 because I know last week it went a little bit longer and um, we want to try to be finished by 2.30. The suggestion down here for homeroom new material, it's not that there will be new stuff in homeroom every day, it's just a as you finish your learning for the day, whenever you finish it. I know some of you are working late in the night instead of during the day, but you might want to go and look and see if anything got posted during the day so you can have an idea of what you might need to work on tomorrow. Here's some information on how we Zoom. So keep your video on when you enter the meeting. Make sure that your teacher knows your screen name and that's appropriate. You guys have been doing great about that. Raise your hand if you want to speak on camera or you can use the button. Um, mute yourself and listen while others are speaking. Participate and be responsible at all times. Um, you guys are using, doing great using nonverbal cues. It's really hard for teachers to know if things are understood unless we see you nodding your head or giving a thumbs up. If we don't see any of that, then we are assuming that it's, it's confusing. Um, so that really helps. Use chat and um, realize your teacher can read the chat and I often download the chat afterwards so I can see if I missed any questions. So keep it appropriate. All right, uh, grading. This is a little bit different for algebra, but in general, if you left in March with a grade that you liked, you pretty much can keep that grade. If you left in March with, let's say you had a C at the end of third quarter, 
that will also be your fourth quarter grade unless you are participating regularly in the activities your teacher is posting. They will be able to raise your grade um, for both third and fourth quarter possibly. You could go back and make up missed work, redo assignments you didn't like. This is really a time for kids who didn't like their grade to improve it. Um, we are keeping track of who engages in learning and algebra, we talked about this last week. If you're not participating, it becomes an incomplete because it's a high school credit. Um, and there will be information next later on how you can make that up. We don't know what that is yet. Um, but algebra is a little bit different. You're getting an actual grade right now. So some fun, we're gonna do two Showalter parades. We cannot hit the entire town of Tukwila on the same day. Um, the first one is tomorrow at 1.30. And eighth graders, if you have Miss Corbin, she is moving to Minnesota. And uh, this might be a nice time for you to have a sign ready to say goodbye to her. So tomorrow we will be starting at Joseph Foster Park and doing this upper area um, between the park and Tukwila Elementary. Okay. And then we will um, move down the hill by the community center and parade through Allentown. Next week on May 20th, also at 1.30 in the afternoon, we'll be starting at SARS and doing the neighborhood back by Cascade View Elementary. And then we'll gather again and we'll start at Foster High School and do the neighborhood around Thorndike Elementary. So be prepared, your teachers wanna see you guys and um, we can cheer each other on in this crazy time. Your books are on sale. Eighth graders, you're gonna want one. This is a crazy year. Historically, you will be telling your kids and grandparents about this year and our yearbook staff did a great job of capturing what this year was like with normal and then COVID and our isolation. You pay for it here at this website and then Mr. Christopher and I are working on a plan where you can pick them up um, once they're here, because right now they're being printed, um, towards what would have normally been the end of our school year, and they'll probably be, be you'll probably be able to pick it up at the district office because Shell Walter is under construction. Speaking of construction, here's some pictures of inside the school. If you are in the area and you've walked by, you're probably seeing some of the outside changes, but they're um, opening up the office and adding more windows. Look at how much bigger the gym is now that they've opened up that back wall. And then this is the wall we have seen in the comments and that's everything behind it is the new build. So pretty crazy um, what's been going on. Um, with that, let me know if you guys have any questions. And um, especially grades, I think it's confusing and hopefully I explained it, but if I didn't, let me know what your questions are and we'll get them clarified. All right, see you guys later. Homeroom kids, answer my survey. Thanks.